Hello students, welcome to our this session, last session of lesson number 2, components of food. We learn components of food, which are components of food, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, these are components of food. Components of foods are also called nutrients. Nutrients include water and refuge also. So, let's start our revision session. Our food contains mainly five major kinds of nutrients, namely vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Additionally, food also contains water and dietary fibers or refuge and water which are also required by our bodies. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates main function is providing energy to the body. These are found in our food in the form of sugar and starch. That is simple and complex carbohydrates. Example, it is found in bread, potatoes, etc. Understand carbohydrates means energy giving food. Which food gives us energy? Bread. That means whole grains, starch contain, potatoes, corn. Yes. I want everybody read this slide once. Let me just zoom it. Now it's clear. Read it. Finish? Everybody finished? Can we move ahead? Sure. Let's see our next slide. Proteins. Protein performs the very essential function of helping our body grow and repair itself. Hmm? So many times our body repair itself, right? We cannot go for small things to the doctor every time. These are found in food items such as milk, pulses, eggs, meat, etc. Foods containing Proteins are called bodybuilding foods. Everybody understand? Proteins are bodybuilding foods. That means it contains milk, milk product, meat, eggs, fish, hmm? pulses. And what is use of proteins to our body? To grow and repair itself. Everybody understand proteins? Now let's see fats. Fats are also responsible for providing energy to our body. In fact, they provide more energy than carbohydrates. 
the body uses fat as a fuel source fats are essential for the absorption of vitamin a d e and k in the body butter cheese oil are all examples of fat rich food so fats is also energy giving food yes and what fat do for our body or what is use of fat for our body it is essential that means zaruri hai for the absorption of हमारे बॉडी में एब्जॉर्ब डिफरेंट मिनरल्स एब्जॉर्ब करने के लिए एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ विटामिन ए डी ई एंड विटामिन के इन इन द बॉडी बटर चीज ऑयल और एनी प्रोडक्ट विच कंटेंट ऑयल डेट आर रिच इन फैट्स रीड प्रोटीन एंड फैट सेल्सो फर्स्ट रीड प्रोटीन नाउ रीड इट फिनिश प्रोटीन नाउ रीड फैट्स Everybody should read it. I'll wait till you finish. finish very good i hope everybody understand protein and fats now let's move our next slide vitamins now i put a table here to show you or to understand you vitamin type sources function of that particular vitamin and deficiency disease due to lack of that particular vitamin so let's see first a vitamin a what are sources for vitamin a leafy green vegetables oranges carrots pumpkin soya sweet potato function what is the function of vitamin e forms and helps maintain bones skin tissue and teeth color what is deficiency disease sorry color color blindness means color samajh mein nahi aata hai color dikhai nahi deta hai night blindness raat mein dikhai nahi deta hai पुअर विजिबिलिटी एट नाइट आइर रात में कुछ भी दिखाई नहीं देता है या कुछ यस कुछ क्लियर नहीं अनक्लियर सा कुछ दिखाई देता है रेड दिस विटामिन ए फर्स्ट सोर्सेस फंक्शन ऑफ विटामिन ए deficiency disease finish let's move to vitamin b1 what are sources dried herbs sunflower seeds whole, whole grain cereals sesame seeds brown rice what is function of this vitamin b1 
it enables cells to turn carbohydrates into energy that means this vitamin helps to turn carbohydrates into energy deficiency disease beriberi we already saw what is mean by beriberi loss of appetite loss of weight read this vitamin b1 sources function deficiency disease so let's see next vitamin b2 sources almonds asparagus bananas green beans wheat bran dried spices function maintains body growth and rbcs that is red blood cells rbcs means deficiency disease skin disorders and scoliosis what is scoliosis means breaking of lips read about vitamin b2 sources function deficiency disease all these are for our information vitamin b12 sources mutton fish beef lobster clams eggs oyster crab function helps in maintenance of central nervous system and rbcs what is rbc mean red blood cells deficiency disease pale skin lack of rbc red blood cells less stamina and less appetite read for vitamin b12 sources function deficiency disease finish then next vitamin c fresh herbs cauliflower papaya oranges strawberries guava vitamin c is also found in lemon function promotes healthy gums and teeth deficiency disease scurvy we already learn what is scurvy means in keywords that is gum diseases gum diseases means hamare teeth related diseases read vitamin c sources function deficiency disease finish let's move vitamin d sources sunshine mushrooms liver fish and eggs function necessary for the healthy development of bones and teeth deficiency disease rickets and osteomalacia that means weakening and softening of bones it just keep in 
mind in simple words weakening and softening of bones read vitamin d sources function deficiency disease finished very good let's move to next vitamin e sources soybean oil red chili powder pine nuts apricots green olives and cooked spinach function helps in processing vitamin k and formation of rbcs rbc means very good red blood cells deficiency disease muscle weakness and transmission problem in now impulses read for vitamin e sources function deficiency disease finish let's see last one vitamin k green sources green leafy vegetables soya bean oil function essential for blood coagulation deficiency disease excessive bleeding from wound excessive means bahut jyada blood aata hai koi kuch bhi hame lagta hai to read for vitamin k sources function deficiency disease everybody finish good this is all for vitamins hmm? what we learn vitamin type sources function and deficiency disease due to lack of that particular vitamin let's move to our next slide which is for minerals let's see same way mineral type sources function and deficiency disease mineral type calcium sources tofu dietary sorry dairy products salmon cabbage kale and broccoli function essential for efficient functioning of nervous system and healthy bones deficiency disease weak bones lower than normal bone density and stunt growth
read for calcium. Wait, I will just zoom it. Calcium sources. Functions. Deficiency disease. Finish. Then next phosphorus sources lean meats, grain, and milk. Function essential for the maintenance of acid base balance in body. Deficiency disease. Loss of appetite, bone fragility, muscle weakness, poor physique. Read for phosphorus. Sources. Function. Deficiency disease. Next, iodine sources green leafy vegetables, seafood, iodized salt function, formation of thyroid. Hormone lack deficiency disease that means disease is due to lack of iodine. Goiter means enlargement of thyroid gland and mental disability. Read for iodine sources. Function Deficiency Disease Finish Let's move to next Sodium Sources Table salt, celery, function, helps keep control on blood pressure, deficiency disease, nausea and irritability, read for sodium, sources, Function Deficiency Diseases Finish Then last Last mineral iron Sources Whole grain Eggs Leafy vegetables And meats Function essential for hemoglobin that is formation in RBC. RBC means red blood cells. Deficiency disease anemia. Anemia means weakness. We feel tired after a little bit work also. Yes. We immediately feel tired, fatty, shortness of breath. Read for iron. Sources. Function. 
deficiency disease. Everybody finish. Very good. So our mineral is also finished. Let's move to our two more important nutrients. What are these? Roughage and photo. Let's see first roughage. Dietary fibers are roughage. While dietary fibers do not provide any such nutrition to our bodies, but nevertheless are an important component of food. They help in easy absorption of food, helps in movement of bowel and prevent constipation. It helps our body to get rid of undigested food. Cereals, fruits and vegetables are some of the roughly rich foods. Everybody understand what is refuge? It's not provide any nutrition to our body. But still it's important. Why it's important? Because it helps in absorption of food in our body. And get rid of undigested food from our body. Everybody read for dietary fibers or refuge first. Read it. I'll wait. Finish. Let's move to water. Water. Water performs the essential function of absorbing nutrients from our food. It also helps in releasing waste from our body in the form of sweat and urine. Water भी हमें कोई nutrient provide नहीं करता है. But still it's important. Everyone, even I also suggested you in our last session to drink 6 to 8 glasses of water every day. If it's not provide any nutrients, then why it is too, so much important in our life? Because water helps. Water helps our body to absorb nutrients from the food and it releases waste from our body in the form of sweat and urine. Understand? Very good. Read for water. Finish. I want everybody should read. Have a look for refuge and photo ones. I'll wait for some time more. Finish everybody. Very good. Can we move ahead? Till now, what we learn, what we revise, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, sources of vit 
table for vitamin that is vitamin type sources function and deficiency disease due to lack of that particular vitamins same with mineral sources of minerals function and deficiency disease yes for that particular mineral now in this slide we see refuge and water so let's move to our next slide which is for one more important point in this lesson that is balanced diet it is important for our body also a balanced diet is one that contains a variety of food item providing different types of nutrients in adequate amount necessary for maintaining good health the diet should contain a good amount of dietary fiber and water as well that means balanced diet means what variety of food items which provide proper or right amount of nutrients to our body adequate amounts means what right amount which are necessary nutrients which nece nutrients which are necessary for maintaining good health for our growth understand with all this nutrient content food we require fiber dietary fiber and water as well a balanced diet includes a combination of protein rich pulses sprouted seeds etc with combination of various flours and cereals for carbohydrates and fats along with fruits and vegetables which provide the necessary vitamins and minerals everybody understand balanced diet include combination of protein rich pulse protein rich product like pulses sprouted seeds with combination of various flours or multigrain flours and cereals and oil butter fats fat content product and fruits and green leafy vegetables for vitamins and minerals so we should include all these balance contain food in our daily life in addition to making sure that the right amount of food is eaten it should also be ensured that food is properly cooked so that it does not end up losing its nutrients what we should take care of food should properly cooked if what happened if food is not cooked properly yes stomach pain hota hai na so that food gets undigested it's very difficult for our body to digest uncooked or half cooked food so food should be properly cooked and itna bhi cook nahi karna hai ki it lose its nutrients over cooking se kya hota hai food lose its nutrients 
repeated washing of fruits pulses rice and vegetables can result in loss of essential vitamins and minerals kya ho jata hai बहुत टाइम वॉशिंग करने से फाइव टाइम सिक्स टाइम्स इतना वॉश करने से जो भी उसमें न्यूट्रिएंट्स हैं इसेंशियल विटामिन एंड मिनरल्स हैं वो कम हो जाते हैं बाय रिपीटेड वॉशिंग अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग डोंट यूज अनवॉश और डोंट ईट अनवॉश फ्रूट पल्सेस एंड वेजिटेबल और राइस it should be washed but only for one or two times not more than that because it that cause the loss of essential vitamins and minerals throwing away excess water which is used for cooking vegetables can result in loss of considerable amount of important protein and minerals present in them jaise ki maine pehle bhi bataya hai excess water jo vegetables cook karne ke liye use karte hain if we throw that water that means we are losing nutrients understand It's well known fact that vitamin C gets destroyed in heat while cooking. Vitamin C contain food को अगर हम cook करते हैं तो we will lose vitamin C totally. वो totally destroy हो जाता है Just read this slide. I'll wait for that. Wait. Let me zoom it. now read it finish first point then second point everybody should read this second number finish third finish third then fourth fifth six it's not clear so i will read 6 point for you it's a well known fact that vitamin c gets destroyed in the heat while cooking understand everybody read this everybody clear balanced diet now every one of you use balance food now very good you have to eat healthy food to stay safe and healthy next obesity and deficiency diseases 
deficiency diseases for vitamins and minerals we already read that in previous slides obesity obesity is a medical condition that results from excess intake of fat rich foods the excess fat gets accumulated to such an extent that it starts negatively affecting one's health well being and the ability to carry out certain activities read for obesity finish then deficiency sometimes simply getting adequate amount of food might not be enough if food does not contain the required nutrients in right amount prolonged usage of such nutrients less food may result in condition known as deficiency read for deficiency what is mean by deficiency deficiency diseases diseases that occur from the lack of an element in the diet usually a particular vitamin or mineral are known as deficiency diseases we already read so many times for deficiency diseases read it once finish a diet lacking proteins may result skin disease lack of protein skin disease stun crude diarrhea swelling of face and discoloration of hair a diet deficient in both carbohydrates and protein that means diseases due to lack of carbohydrates and proteins in our body may hinder the growth completely and the person becomes so frail and lean that he or she might not even be able to move that means due to this a uh, lack of protein and carbohydrates a person gets weak deficiency of certain vitamin and minerals can cause diseases like scurvy gotcha anemia etc as mentioned in tables hence we must always make sure to include all nutrients in our food and drink a good amount of water now and everybody understand i hope everybody understand why we why it's important to have healthy food now name the following what are different nutrients Hmm. What is this? Tell me. Yes, this is. What is this? This is carbohydrates. Then what is this? Everybody knows that this is water. Then fruits and vegetable means. vitamins and minerals correct then oil meat that means fats then meat fish chicken protein and last one it is roughage now everybody understand this so today we will stop here we stop here and in our next session 
we will see question and answers for lesson number 1 and 2 thank you